Yeah, my name's Mark Benson, and I've owned this car for almost 30 years. NFX850 actually started out life uh, being ordered by a guy called Jeff Deere who had a team or he raced in a team called the Octagon Stable and they did uh, track racing kind of Silverstone you know different tracks around England and uh, he ordered the car and it went straight to the BMC competition department uh, for modifications to race I mean nothing too radical I mean they put a racing windshield and uh, they got a, a beautiful little uh, Smith's chronometric you know, rev counter which looks period and uh, they did some uh, suspension modifications and uh, they played with uh, you know bigger SU car rotors and then they went to Weber's and I mean I drive it up to 65 7,000 revs and uh, it's it's pretty powerful it's you know it's it's definitely a lot of fun to drive in the canyons The engines had a lot of work done to it. I mean, we've got it to the Le Mans spec, which was uh, bigger, 1762 cc, and uh, it's got modern pistons and modern Carrillo rods and a strengthened crank, and it's very reliable for the type of driving that we're doing up in the mountains. It can handle the revs without any problems. So originally when I uh, started rebuilding this here in California, I, I was thinking, okay, we'll go racing with it. You know, basically the idea of driving it to the track, racing it, and if uh, everything goes well, driving home. But uh, that's the idea, you know, keeping it as original as possible. It came very obvious to me that the car was actually going to be a lot more fun on the road than on the track. Uh, to make it competitive, I was going to have to do some things like fit roll bars, and I, I just went, I, that's not the right car for that, you know, it's too too original. The electrics are all completely new, which makes it just so you can get in and drive and I can go anywhere I want, like now. 